Now we can look back over the best bits. Right from the start, we knew we were in for a thriller. Santi Arusha holding off Rob Huff to the first corner. Girolami and Nicolas going wheel to wheel and very nearly coming together. Tom Coronel getting close to his opponents through the course of battling. Muller and Ted York getting a little bit too close. Several times on that one. Now Tom managing to hang on to Kiliani and hold off Ashkenaz. Then Benani connects with Bjork, who connects with Nash. And then Tom Coronel sees a gap that suddenly disappears. And even almost collected at Tilatashi in all of it as well. Unfortunately, it was Dan Nash who lost the wheel. Ted York dropped back. Ivan Muller then had his own battle with Mehdi Benani, trying to close up on Esteban Guerrieri. It all ended in tears for the Moroccan into turn one. Bang! Big contact with Muller. It was Benani who was out. Muller wounded, but continuing. After the safety car period, by his own admission, Santiago Arusha won the race on the restart as he managed to pull clear of Rob Huff give himself enough of a gap to get away. Nesta Girolami doing a sensational job running his car in third place and holding off the attentions of the hometown hero, Norby Michelis. Good battles in the middle of the field. Ascona almost managing to get past that Bertrand, but deciding that the championship was worth winning, didn't want to take too big a gamble. Points meant prizes as far as the Spaniard was concerned. Big pressure all the way through from Rob up right to the very last lap. Santi Arusha kept the car as wide as possible. Jan Elisha was the man on the move. He managed to get his battle right the way down to the end to come home sixth. And it was Santi Arusha who became the third different winner in 2022 after Girolami and Ascona. And WTCR.